Welcome to this edition of the Falcon Report. This, this week is February 26th through March 1st. Please stand for the national anthem and place your right hand over your heart. Thank you. You may be seated. Let's go to our reporter in the field. Hi, my name is Canyon. I am with Michael. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a frog. Did you know they jump really high and they climb trees? That's amazing, Michael. Here are the high flyers for assertiveness. Encouraging in kindergarten, we have Quinn and Crew. In first grade, we have Nora and Isaac. In second grade, we have Santiago, um, Ellie, and Azul. In third grade, we have Easton and Milan. In fourth grade, we have William and Lola. In fifth grade, we have Robert and Aria. Way to go, High Flyers. We currently have 71,868 carrot cards. Our goal is 75,000. Keep up the good work, Falcons. Now we will check in with Mr. Scotty for a message. Hi, Sprucewood. Here's a little reminder for all students and staff to clean their tech devices. Um, each device has a proper cleaning method, so I'm going to show you how those work. For the Chromebooks, you're going to use these alcohol wipes. Um, you're going to take one, and you're just going to wipe down your keyboard, wipe down the screen, and then let it dry, and if there's streaks, you can take a cloth and wipe it off. That's all you need to do. For the iPads, you don't want to use those alcohol wipes because those will take off part of the film. So you're going to use a spray called Screen Mom, spray a cloth, and just wipe it down. And that's it. For any laptops in the classroom, you're going to want to use the same kind of Screen Mom cleaner, but clean it like you would the Chromebook. The same spray, go over the keyboard, and go over the screen. And that's it. Remember to turn all the devices off before cleaning. When you're done cleaning them, you can of course turn them back on. Um, teachers, you can find these supplies in the book room near the die cut machine. You've got this, Falcons. Hi, Falcons. You've been learning all about understanding our community. I like to think about our school community all the time because it's our responsibility to take care of each other while we're here at school. One of the things that I think our community, our school community, is really good at, one of our strengths, is that we're really good at helping each other when we're feeling down. So when you notice other students are maybe in their blue or their yellow zone, I've seen so many times where you've gone to them, asked if they're okay. You ask if there's anything you can do to help. And maybe there's not anything you can do to fix the problem, but if somebody's feeling sad or feeling worried about something, I always see you being a good friend and sticking with them. Maybe standing up for them if somebody's being mean, or maybe you sit with them at lunch if they're having a bad day. So keep up the good work. 
that's one of the great strengths of our school community is helping each other out when we're feeling down. Hi, Sprucewood Falcons, it's Principal Skeeno here, and it's time for praise from the principal. Last time that I was in front of you, I challenged everyone to remember that recess time is about healthy exercise time. And we have found a few kids that were our shining stars, and I'd like to share them with you now. First, we have David. Our Playworks team says that David is always moving at recess. He enjoys trying the game of the week every single day. He plays fair and he's eager to learn. Second, we're highlighting Tyler. Tyler is always active. Our Playworks team says he's kind and respectful outside. He's the first to step up whenever anything needs to be changed at recess time. Our third highlight is Vivian. Vivian is always active at recess. Our Playworks team says that she makes others feel good while playing and has a great attitude. And our final highlight today is Sam. Sam is so active at recess. At lunch recess and grade level recesses, our Playworks team says he's always running and getting others to play with him. Way to go, Sprucewood. I'm so proud of everyone for taking the time and getting your hearts healthy and playing at recess time. Here's what's happening at Sprucewood this week. The game of the week is basketball. The book fair is this week. Today the aquarium is coming to fourth grade classroom. Parent-teacher parent conference are Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday is early release, so we get out at 1.45. There is no school on Friday. Have a great week, Falcons. Thanks for watching the Falcon Report. Report. Happy